Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how to isolate your proximal hamstrings versus distal and lateral versus medial. So first off, our proximal hamstrings attach into our ischial tuberosity, kind of thinking about them right underneath the butt cheek or those sits bones. Proximal hamstrings along with the deep abs are really important for maintaining pelvis position front to back in that sagittal plane. Overall, we want to sense and feel those proximal hamstrings so we can help control pelvis position. Now let's start by setting up near a bench, or in this case, a couch. I wanna show you that this is accessible no matter where you are. I love incorporating hamstring work into a warm up with clients and for myself. If you'd like, you can grab a yoga block to place between the legs. Sometimes this can help calm down the external rotators if your glutes are feeling really grippy. And we're gonna get started. So I'm placing the heels on the couch. If I want, I can utilize my yoga block and place it between the legs in this position heels digging into the couch, just relaxing and allowing yourself melt into the, to the ground below. As we get started with sensing the distal and proximal, for, for starters, what I want you to think about doing is digging your heels into the chair or the bench. And when we start, just first off, sense where you even feel tension to begin, where you feel that fire in the muscle belly, hopefully more so behind the leg. In this position, relax the glutes, relax the hip flexors and the quads, and allow yourself to just breathe and melt into the ground below. For your first part of the exercise, I want you to really think about not tucking the pelvis under, but allowing the knees to kind of drive the show and elevate towards the ceiling. So really think about driving up with the knees and allowing there to be a natural curve in the low back. So you're not tucking, but you're not clenching on your butt. And just kind of think about pressing into your heels and driving the knees up towards the ceiling. And just tune in to where you feel that. In that position, you might feel a little bit more hamstring kind of lower on the leg behind um, the knee, and that is your distal hamstring. So a lot of us are able to more easily connect with the distal hamstring, which is a little bit farther down the leg. For more proximal, we're gonna change the cueing just a bit, and when we elevate, I want you to think about kind of scooping your pelvis underneath you and going into that more posterior tilt, less about the knee drive up and more about kind of bridging up with that pelvis tuck position. So same setup, just want you to think about more of that pelvis being tucked under without clenching on the glutes. So that's where the yoga block can be super helpful if you feel that urge to clench. So tucking under, maintaining that stacked position, and I'm kind of bridging up the, off the ground just like an inch or so. We're really thinking about more of that pelvis kind of elevating myself up off the ground versus just driving up with the knees. So really thinking about just sort of scooping my pelvis underneath me and driving up versus the knees running the show. In this position, where do you feel the hamstrings working? I feel a little bit more kind of this part of the muscle belly underneath the butt cheeks and the sits bones. You might even feel one side working more than the other because maybe you have one hamstring that is a little bit more dominant. Now we're going to reference the lateral or kind of outside or medial, inside part of the hamstring. So a lot of us, you know, if we kind of walk with our feet turned out, we're going to be more easily connected with that outside lateral part of the hamstring. So we want that medial part of the hamstring as well as the adductor for overall pelvis stability and building strength. So what we can do is we can actually turn our feet in a little bit, essentially, um, changing around the tibial rotation, kind of the lower limb position. So I might have you turn your feet in, not the whole knee, but and the whole upper part of the leg, but just that lower part of the leg, just kind of turn those feet in a little bit. And now when you kind of think about lifting and tucking the pelvis under, kind of sense where on the hamstring you feel that in terms of inside or outside. Okay, hold there, breathe. and then we'll switch. So now I want you to just turn your toes out a little bit, kind of mimicking maybe a position you tend to be in all the time. And you may notice that in this position, you feel more of that outside part of the leg. 
So this is how we can kind of manipulate in our hamstring warmups, how we connect with the proximal or distal part of the hamstring. Now we want to be able to connect with that proximal. So when we are in something like a hamstring bridge, I might cue pelvis position, adding a reach to keep the ribs back, adding some different breathing so that you can get that expansion, connect with those proximal hamstrings and the abs, which is going to translate up to help us control that pelvis position and get a nice stacked body position. If you are someone who tends to turn the feet out, then we might change that foot position so we can get a little bit more of that medial hamstring, which is oftentimes not as strong or something we just don't isolate as much. So hopefully this video was helpful to give you an idea of how you can isolate all the different parts of your hamstring and how we might manipulate those during warm-up.